Ford magazine calls Gates America's richest person. Point three billion dollars. He's worth forty million dollars. Next one. Next one is the Patamaniuk. David Patamaniuk is the class of chancellor of the Chiul Ferdinand. Anumite geniale. Deci, dacă aveți ceva, nu știu, puzzle-uri de mii și mii de bucăți sau rubicuri, uite, la fărbă, în cartea a doua este Rubic, the person, so it's your favorite kind of person. So next speech will be about Mr. Rubic, yeah? Este la liceul Ferdinand, yes? And he will talk to him, but he will tell us about Bill Gates. Bill Gates, born 1955. There's no reason anyone would want a computer in their home, announced a rich businessman 40 years ago. Bill, Bill thought the opposite was true. He thought that one day every cow, home in the world will have a computer. It seems obvious now, but it wasn't back then. At the time, computers were the size of ovens and couldn't do anything that we find very exciting. They were so expensive that only big companies could afford to own them. Bill was lucky though. His school had made a company, uh, with, a deal with those company, which meant the children were allowed to use their computers a few hours every week. Straight away, Bill was amazed by the possibilities. Uh, you know, if his best friend, Paul Allen, uh, started missing classes, hanging out in the computer room, hacking in to get more time. When he was only 15, he created a program that started traffic and he sold it for $20,000. Bill, when school, school was over, Bill that uh, pressured him to go to university to study law. He went, but his heart wasn't really neat. He, all, he, only he could think about was computers. Uh, he kept imaging about uh, about how they could, can become uh, Windows Jamming, we want to know about the world. So he dropped out of university, called his old school friend Bob Paul, and started a computer company called Microsoft. Most of our computers in the world now use Microsoft. It's made be one of the richest people alive. To, to spend the money wisely, he started a charity with his wife Melinda, and together they help people all around the world to get access to clean water, food, disaster relief, and medicine also, uh, education and libraries. Thank you, goodness. Oh, yes, David.